So this example is going to show you how to create a um, OGIVE in um, R. So we have to first put the data in. I'm going to use the data from this example with uh, recurrence of time of tumors. Again, I can go, I can type the data in, but it's easier just to go and copy it. So I copied it. And then I go into R and I paste it. And you can see I already did that, so it's already pasted in there. The data is already there and ready to go. Now, it would have been better if I'd created the OGIVE after I created the frequency distribution, so I wouldn't have to type everything in again. But since I didn't, I will have to retype everything. So I am going to do breaks. I want to start at 1, because 1 is my lowest data value. I want to go to a value above my highest data value, so 65 sounded good. And I had decided before that my breaks would have 12, that my class width would be 12. So I'm going to type that in. I apologize, I typed it wrong. Breaks equals sequence, 1 comma 65 comma by equals 12. So again, breaks is the name I'm creating. I'm going to call it a sequence. I'm taking this, the, this sequence and dividing it up by this, and then hit enter. Again, nothing actually happens. Um, until I keep going. So again, I need to cut the data. So I'm going to take my time and I'm going to cut it. The time.cut is just the name I'm creating for it. Cut is the actual program, um, the actual command. So I'm going to cut my time data based on my breaks that I just created. And I want to have right equals false so that if something falls on the right endpoint, it doesn't go into that class that goes into the next highest. So I'm going to hit enter. Again, I don't see it do anything. It does it all in the background. I then want to create a frequency distribution. So I'm going to call that time equals frequency, and I'm going to create a table of my time.cut. Again, oh, I can't type, sorry, time.frequency. So if you get errors like this, it'll tell you kind of what's going on. So just look up to see what might have happened, what you might have forgotten. So I now created it correctly. And now what I want to do is create a cumulative frequency. So I'm going to call it time.cum frequency. So that, again, that's just the name I'm giving it. And I am going to take a cumulative sum. So C-U-M, S-U-M. Again, is the command time and then time.frequency. So based on the time.frequency I just created, I want to now it to accumulate the sums up. So that's why I had to create that time.frequency so it had something to work with. Hit enter. Again, you don't see anything happen. Now what I want to do is when it did that, it didn't actually put zero in the very first class. So we're going to actually create a combination. I'm going to call it cum frequency zero, like that, equals C. The C says combine zero with that time.cum function, um, cum frequency that I just created. Oh, I spelled it wrong. So, um, the nice thing is you can do an up arrow and go back in. I actually called that times dot cum frequency, so I have to use the exact name. And now I can actually just do cum freak zero, and I will actually see what that looks like. So this is going from one to thirteen with zero in that class. The next class starts at thirteen to twenty-five with six below that one. So this is actually how many are below each class. So below the 113, there are 0. From the 1 to 13, there are 6 data values. Below 25, there are 16 data values. Below 37, there's 25. Below 49, there's 34. And below 61, there's 42. Then if I want to plot this, I can say I want to plot the breaks based around the cum frequency 0. That will actually just plot it. The rest of this is just to make it pretty. I like to have a, a title, so I'm going to call it main. Main is for the, t the main title, OGIVE of length of time for recurrence. Close that quote. And then I'd like to have something on my X label. And so I'll call that time. And this time I do want to put something on my Y label because it won't know to call it cumulative frequency. So I'm going to call it cumulative frequency. And then if I hit enter, It'll create a graph. Now the problem with this graph is that it didn't connect the dots, and OGIVES usually have the dots connected. This is why we need to put that zero in there, otherwise it would have started with this data point and you never would have seen this one down here, and we do want that zero there. 
So without closing this window, go back to your command window to our console and then type in lines, break, and then breaks. That was the name idea, and then QM frequency. And what it will do is it will connect the dots of those lines with a line. So now if I go back into the window of looking at my graph, I now see it nice and connected up, and there's my OGAV. I can now print this OGAV out, or I can copy and paste it into Word.